everyone welcome back so today's Wednesday so what I thought I would do is make a pizza roll a pepperoni pizza roll kind of a deluxe pizza roll um, and I hope you like the recipe it's super easy again it's just using stuff that's in your fridge and I actually made some pizza dough at lunchtime today but you can buy frozen pizza dough that you thaw out I hope you enjoy this recipe let's get started all right here are the ingredients for this recipe you're going to need some pizza dough you can just use whatever pizza dough recipe you have or uh, you can often buy it either fresh or frozen at grocery stores or markets i'm going to use some sun-dried tomato pesto you can also use green pesto just make sure it's vegan it doesn't have any a lot of pestos have parmesan cheese in them so just make sure you choose a vegan one i'm going to use some pizza sauce I'm not sure if I'm going to use both probably just this one if I need a little bit more sauce I'll add that some Italian seasonings I had some leftover olives in the fridge so I'm going to add those these mushrooms need to get used up so I'm going to add those um, I have half a red onion and a green pepper that I need to use and then I'm going to use this pepperoni it's very good butcher pepperoni and this is a Canadian company actually from British Columbia they're awesome I love all of their products and we're going to use the Nafiska's garden mozzarella and then I am going to use some of this earth island vegan parmesan as well preheat your oven to 400 degrees and let's get started chopping so like I said I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and now I am going to chop up my green pepper and my onions and grate my cheese and we'll see how that goes I've had a lot of people ask me about this little container here for um, that I use for my composting and I actually bought that at Home Depot just where all the garbage cans and such are um, and I find it really handy because it doesn't have holes in the lid which I really like a lot of them have sort of ventilation holes in the lid but that just means that fruit flies can get in there um, and I don't like that and smells can escape not that I don't empty it on a regular basis all right so we have our onions our green pepper our mushrooms the olives are already chopped sorry for all the clanking and now I'm just going to chop up the vegan pepperoni this is really a great company I love what they do and I love the fact that obviously all their products are vegan and everything I've tried from them I've really liked they actually have an online store now which is pretty awesome I usually use the gusta pepperoni but I thought I would try something different so I'm just gonna chop this into little quarters and then slice it so now I'm just going to grate up some mozzarella so in case you're wondering about vegan cheeses no they don't behave the way dairy cheese does in that they tend to um, definitely melt differently I shouldn't have done this with my hands wet that's my problem there we go so I really like the feta in the recipe that I made the other day this smells a lot like that they also again don't necessarily smell the same as dairy cheese here's the thing when you're talking about vegan cheeses you're not going to replace it exactly the goal is to find something that does the same thing in a recipe as a dairy cheese or a non-vegan product and that's what they do so if you let go of that expectation and you just try and find something that tastes good you won't be so frustrated now one of the things I do find is that when I'm grating non-dairy cheese especially if I want it to melt I use a small side of the grater and not the big side because then I find it melts a lot better so that's what I'm gonna do you can use Violife cheese um, Earth Balance has a good one Dea the cutting board especially the cutting board Dea cheeses I think are quite good um, I'm not as huge a fan of the mozzarella though it's good I like the pepper jacket one I think it is in recipes because it has a bit more flavor um, but then again mozzarella doesn't really have a ton of flavor anyways so I guess that's why they make it that way 
sorry, I am trying to remember, remind myself to look to make sure you can see what I'm doing. But it's not a professional kitchen. It's just my kitchen in my tiny house. So that is all that we need to actually chop or prepare. So I'm just going to clear this off and we're going to roll out our dough and assemble. Okay, it's time to roll out the dough. Now I have got a cookie sheet with some parchment paper ready to go. Again, I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I always forget to mention that to preheat the oven. So just wanted to point that out again. And we're going to roll this out. Now I want to roll it out into a rectangle shape. I think that'll do. Um, so now I'm going to spread out the sun-dried tomato pesto. I have made this with green pesto. Like I said, just make sure that what you're doing is finding a pesto that is vegan. So it doesn't have any Parmesan cheese. It's easier to find a roasted red pepper one like that. The green, the basil ones, sometimes parsley ones, they have, they tend to have the Parmesan cheese in them unless they're specifically labeled as vegan, so. I don't and you just want to give it a nice little layer. So now we're going to add our ingredients. First thing I'm going to do is put some red onions on here. If you don't like any of these ingredients, just use the ones that you like on a pizza. But I really like sweet red onions on my pizza and mushrooms and all of these other ingredients. I've made it with sun-dried tomatoes, roasted red peppers from a jar. That's pretty good too. I guess you could roast your own as well. Um, just whatever you like on a pizza will work on this. And this is just really a very easy way to make a dinner on a weekday. And especially if you're using frozen pizza dough so you don't have to make the dough yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna put some olives on here. I love olives. If you don't, don't put them on. But for me, they're one of my favorite things to have on a pizza or pretty much anything. I just really like them and I had some sitting in my fridge that needed to be used up. All right, now some green pepper. And now the pepperoni, just scattered throughout. Okay, so now the mushrooms. And now we're gonna put in that grated mozzarella, vegan mozzarella that I just grated. You don't have to grate it on the smallest little grater holes, I guess. But like I say, I find that for vegan cheese in particular, doing that helps it melt because it doesn't have the same properties as dairy. It also doesn't have the cholesterol and well, the animal part. So for me, that's a simple trade-off, especially since nowadays, there are so many really good alternatives available that weren't available even, you know, uh, what, four years ago when I, four or five years ago, I can't even remember, when I went vegan. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, or uh, Italian seasoning just to the top. And I think that will be good. Yes. What I'm going to do, and what I probably should have done, is just sort of Move all these back a little bit so that when I roll it, they're not falling out. Do as I say, not as I do, apparently. All right. This is always the tricky part, is getting this first going, especially since the dough really wants to stick. So be patient and just talk to it nicely. Encourage it. Just uh, take your time and roll it up. 
you want it rolled as tightly as you can. I mean, there's only so much you'll be able to do. And then once you get to the end, if you can see that, then just sort of lift this side up and tuck it over top and it will sort of naturally stick, which is nice. And if you can, on the ends, try and sort of pinch it together a little bit. The filling is going to fall out just a little bit, but that's okay. Awesome. So then grab your pan, make sure you use one that isn't long enough for your pizza roll. Better. Now, I suppose I could have rolled it on parchment paper, like right from the very beginning, but I find that it makes it harder to roll. So I don't do that normally. There. So I'm just angling that. Now, what I'm gonna do is just go grab a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna brush the top of this. Okay, I've got my olive oil. I'm gonna pour a little onto this plate and then just brush the top of this a little. You don't have to soak it or anything, but just a little bit. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 40 minutes. I'm going to test it to see if it's um, how it's doing. And then if it needs longer, I'll put it in for longer, but it should be around 40, 45 minutes, depending on your oven. For those of you wondering, but Adelina, where does the Parmesan come in? It's supposed to go inside and on top. So I'm just gonna pull this out and put some on top. It's only been in there a couple minutes, but yeah, that's just, that's just what happens when I cook. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. And I'm also gonna sprinkle just a little bit more of the Italian seasoning on top. Okay, now it goes back in. Okay, it has been actually 45 minutes because at 40 minutes it wasn't quite, I think, brown enough. So let's pull it out. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look good? Mm, smells really good too. I'm gonna let it cool for about five minutes before I cut into it, but man, that looks good. So I'll be back in five. Let's see what it looks like inside. It's sat for about five minutes to just settle and cool off a little bit. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh, my goodness. Oh, that's nice. Can you, can you see the steam? <laughs> coming off of that that looks delicious and it smells amazing now I have learned my lesson from making this multiple times that if you bite into that sucker right now um, well you're gonna lose the skin on the roof of your mouth and probably your tongue as well because it is very hot in there so I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna taste it, but I can tell you right now, I've made this recipe many times. It's delicious. I used roasted uh, sundry tomato pesto for this. I have used a basil pesto. It looks like that Nefisca mozzarella melted really well, which is awesome, and the veggies look cooked. This is a really simple recipe to make. You can make it obviously a smaller size if it's just for you. Um, I have my youngest kid coming over, so we're just gonna heat that up and eat that while we watch a movie. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. Again, the recipe will be down below.